It was late November 2015 and word had got out that Gordon was still on the job of getting to this full of herself owner. I've been at this now for two weeks and let's just hope that she will be listening to me. I've tried all I could so far so this looks like our last chance before the final nail in the coffin for this place. And we are going to get her to understand that she has got to start listening. Exactly, Xander. Good morning! Why are you outside while business is open? Morning, Mita. I am looking for another set of people to help me get red ripped into this restaurant owner who is totally oblivious. I tried to get her to listen for two weeks straight and she still isn't paying attention. Why not just remove her from the picture and find someone more honest to run the place? Well, you could do that, but you can't just plaster over what the problem is with this restaurant. But youthful suggestion, I'll not argue because 12, 13 days ago, me and her got into a huge argument. Shut up and listen to me. Oh, you shut up and listen to me. You're in denial. No. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. No way I'm in denial. You are. Go and clean the toilets and the kitchen. Yeah, they'll be cleaned by you, you clarity pig. Even if I am totally flabbergasted or blown away by her arrogance or fed up with her ignorance or that for those reasons I just want to get out of here, people want to dine for Christ's sake, so I don't care if I do or do not want to finish this job, but I must finish the job. Okay then, I guess I'll go get drunk in the pub. Well, you hear me, this is responsibility. If we're going to do this, we must do this and get it over with. Chef Ramsay had to call some of his mates over to give him a hand with the venue. Excellent. Now that I've got my whole model really planned out, it's time to start with how it's done. I'll start with that later. Right now I'm going downstairs to clean my bedroom. Right. Sully, Shrek, Marty, Ash and Big Chris must be at work by now. Right now, cleaning time. Hey, Flick. Morning, Isabella. What you do then? Well, um, nobody's here, so I'm just gonna get everything cleaned up. So washing and polishing the floor, scrubbing walls, cleaning all the bunks, cleaning out whatever's dirty, destroy or going the washing. Aren't you going to need a little help? Oh, um, thanks for the offer, but I'm pretty sure you don't want to get any parts of you dirty. Oh no, no worries about me getting my clothes dirty, because they can easily be cleaned. Of course, not many people want their clothes to be clean just to look nice, but to keep their health intact. So, I can help you. There's a fire! Whatever it is, call. <laughs> There's no fire, just because of what's lurking in the smoke alarm in this bedroom. Huh? That's strange. I thought that smoke alarms were just like fire alarms. Yeah, I thought they only go off when a fire takes place. Not just if there's a fire occurring. This one's from no fire, but ones like this, the smoke alarm, can go off if it's got condemned batteries and they don't work anymore. Okay then, well, we'll leave you to it. And by the way, you did a great job with Pikachu fixing the Wi-Fi two weeks ago. You shouldn't thank me for that. It was actually Pikachu. Was it then? I'll have to thank Pikachu when I next see him. Righty ho, let's get the show on the road. Kyle, I don't want you having Ike on your bed if you're not 100% focused on him. He could fall off and get seriously hurt. But Wendy, his baby bed is too short for him to sleep in. My bed's more comfortable for him, and not only that, but I just feel that. Oh yeah, you're right, it's too hard. Exactly. Well, same sure your bed's a comfort for him to sleep in all along, but there's not enough room on your bed for the two of you. One of you could still fall off. You're right, but how can we get another and longer bed? Hmm. Later, as Flick finished cleaning up the room, he was longing for a rest. Ah. Oh. I nearly forgot. Must always make sure you replace the batteries for the smoke alarm before doing anything else. Perfect. Size 3, just what I need for the alarm to always go off whenever a fire is taking place. Or maybe even not just that. There. And these? Hmm. I suppose I'll just hide these in my closet. 
I may consider using them for my project. Flick then went to sleep, but not for long. God, what a properly clean room. Flick! Uh, oh, yes, sir. Reporting for duty, sir. What can I do? You're needed by Gordon Ramsay at Cartwright's news agents, along with Ash, Marty, Sully and Shrek. I'm amazed by how clean this room is. I did it. You cleaned this room? Yep, I did it. And changed the batteries for the smoke alarm. Good boy you are. Now Gordon needs you at Cartwright's news agents in London to help. Let me guess. Some wee nyaf is playing at running a business and doesn't even give a crap. Not a million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like that. Kyle and his team. What is that? I believe it uh, congealed greasy tar, but I don't think it really is that. I'm just guessing. Moldy, liquidy, slimy, unidentifiable substances from a crime scene that had taken place here like in 1994, 1995 or something. I'm just guessing because I don't know what it exactly is. Could be grease from the hood. I'm only guessing if it is, then it'll have never, ever been claimed. The lot startledly stared at the four main ones. Well, I don't. Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Seems like no one knows what that is. Actually, Stan, put your hand on that. How does it feel? It's sticky. Ugh. Just then, the Phineas and Ferber on. Have you boys seen this on the TV? Seen what on TV? Come and take a look at this. What is this? What was the first thing you all did this morning before arriving here? Flick, do you mind if I was to start with you? Uh, What I've done is I've checked the hygiene of the bathrooms and seems as though Hazel has still got her head in the smoker. Ramsay then turned to Ash Ketchum. What I've done is I've inspected the cleanliness of the refrigeration walk-in and it's in tatters. Gordon then turned to the three big boys. What we've done is... Nothing but half day. Put up with Hazel. Still talking absolute nonsense. I've made myself 320,000 comment cards and all they even have written on them is... Food's perfect, music's perfect, decor's perfect. To anyone who says otherwise, die and go to hell. Nothing needs changing. Show me to the dining room. Well, over 18 months ago was when this place started festering. About 14 days ago, I started devising a plan to fix this mess. This place is crumbling. This is where your money is going. All of this is lying on you. You are the one who is supposed to be looking after and in charge of this restaurant. And yet this is how oblivious you are, how weak you are, and how in denial you are. I literally told you 34 times. And yet you don't even bloody listen. This place's reputation is on the verge of collapsing. Have you done anything about it since day one? No. And I'll bet you haven't even started. No, you have done absolutely nothing about the other than be in denial. And now you revert to stupid, pretentious comment cards to shove your head up your behooky and not know your behooky from your elbow. Having done those two, to say this restaurant is all food, decor and music is amazing when they're not so. When are you going to stop 
massaging and bandaging everything and yourself and start getting a damn grip. Okay, so clearly there's some chefs and owners you want to change their stubbornness and you can For God's try. sake, Hazel, that's dealt with. Most of those realised where they went wrong and changed their ways and now they run their restaurants like a, a restaurant is supposed to be run. You do the same. Wake up, stop identifying where you messed up and think on how to change. Stop pretending it never happened. It ain't In e this place. We eat breakfast, lunch, dinner. Who's going to come here and chat blah, blah, blah with their closest and have some of the worst meals they've ever eaten? It's real hard to have it be done and right now I'm in sleep mode in order to hear him in action. Eh, okay? Have your bloody lugs fallen off? Did you bloody hear a thing he said? Hazel just laughed. That made Flick reach his breaking point. Get a grip to make this restaurant like how it once was. We're here to make this restaurant good again. So get your head out of the soft play and get up. Don't tell me you haven't been listening because this is getting ridiculous. Just explain to me where to start from here, Flick. <sighs> You're not even listening. He's tried to tell you for two bloody weeks about the three main things this restaurant has in its lab. Food, music and decoration. And every other thing. And he told you that 34 times. Over and over and over. But you never bloody listen. Your head's too full of bullcrap. You don't take any effect from anything but yourself! Oh, I could do anything. I don't need clarity to be trained to do it. Now Flick's eyes were overflowing with fire and Flick had lost control. Shut the hell up! Get your head out of the bloody smoker! Shut your mouth and get a grip! Listen! Nah, nah, no way I'm leaving myself. I just booked on throwing a party in the refrigeration unit. Cause food's good, decor's good, music's good. Now Hazel had pushed Flick to his limits and Flick had had enough. You want me to batter you? What a fight. Okay then, how's this? Ah, why you? Oh, that old pip squeak! Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop, stop! What an argument! Indeed, the walk-in is just rubbish. Really, looks like a pile of junk. That owner does not respond to criticism. Just wants to be the star of the show. Me! Ah! My tonsils are melting! Um, Cartman, I don't think he's still here. I think Cartman went into there. Um, he must have threw up in there and fell in. I think we must dive in and see where it takes us. You two ready? Ready. Okay. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Where have they gone? Who knows? Wait a sec. What? They went under the pool, didn't they? <laughs> didn't they? You really think so? What? Oh no, no! Are you there, Stan? What? Yes. Where are you? 
then you, Kenny, Eric and Kyle go down the pool? Yes, and you get back up here. How can we get up to where we fell down to? You can't. Oh, no. What did he say? They can't get back up from there. Oh, jinx. Worst yet. Where could they be? Stan, where are you? We are just in some weird underground cave. Is there any sign of where or what it is? Hazy Maze Cave. Hazy Maze Cave. Can you find any exits? Stan, who are you talking to? Clyde Kyle. Clyde, are you there? Yeah. And there's an underground exit in the water area. Underground? Uh, yes. All four of you try to make your ways to any doors, but be careful, the ground may be unsafe. Yes, Clyde. Listen, you three, Kyle, Eric and I, will find any doors to find any ways out. Kenny, stay here and call someone to get us out of here. All right, Brian. Meanwhile, at Cartwright's newsagents, Sir Mario had been watching what had happened earlier in the afternoon between Flick and Hazel. We're going to redecorate the dining room. That's in working progress and planning. But the music has been festering the longest, so we must have no bull crap excuses to not do that. Cancel the music! Um, well, I do think that the customers deserve some This muscle. place is not a rudderless pigsty where you can play rap music and brazzing your customers and stopping them having the time of their lives. Well, you see, the customers don't know how it's done at its core in terms of where everything is coming from. And For God's so sake! The critic isn't you, it's the customers! Ash is right. You have to get off your bahookie and do something about it. You're in denial. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Hello? Who is that? Flick, this is Kenny. Me, Stan, Kyle and Eric are under the pool of unidentified liquid mm -hmm. under it. And we can't yeah. find an exit. Goodness gracious me! We're on our way! Who was that? Stan, Kyle, Kenny and Eric have fell through the pool in the castle. No time to lose, men. All of you stay here with Sir Mario. So it was this pool where they fell. Aye. And they can't get out or up from there. Am I right? Exactly. Okay, I'm going in. What even is this place? Do you see anyone? There's Kenny. Kenny, where'd they go? Eric went that way. Tyler went stand out that way. Gordon. Come down here with Ash, Marty, Silly and Shrek. What's that drawn or paint supposed to be? A map of how this cave looks from the sky must be an ancient cave painting. Goodness me, there's paths everywhere. How are we going to find the thing? We'll split up and go in different directions. Yes, quite. Marty, you're with me on the path to the area with the platforms. Shrek and Sully, you're heading to the hazy maze bit. Warning, it might be poisonous. Flick and Ash, you're going over that block. 
black hole because according to the map that's a bit underneath. Brick and Sully broke into the hazy maze pit. It was encased with toxic fumes. It's poisonous, so then I put your plates of meat down there. I will sense I've got something over my plates of meat. Shh! Do you hear that? <laughs> Sounds like somebody's talked when they're called or choking the deep. <laughs> Dan, what the hell are you doing in there? <coughs> Don't come near this hole. If you come near it, I'll catch you too. <coughs> Call someone to help and hurry. <coughs> I'm on it. Blick and Ash found Derek in a water pool. Marty and Gordon found Kyle on the pool and Kenny was informed over Stan's suffering and took action straight away. Be quick you two. Gas tight suits and breathing apparatus for this one. Where are Flick and Ash? They must be heading back to us with Eric Cartman. Okay Shrek. Show me to where Stan is. In the trench there. <coughs> Jesus Christ! That looks a bit uncomfortable. Sure it does. Look at us there, all this man. What a mess. Commence vacuum hose to remove every ounce of hazy maze from the ground. Aye, that's all of it. Flick, where are you? We found an underground exit. Leads to Samara's castle. Okay, so the water is coming from that way. So we'll fall back home from that way. We'll get wet, but it's the only way out. God, we're right home here, inside. And stay clear of any paintings on the walls, chimneys, blocks on the floors, holes in the walls, and any other forms of unidentified detections that couldn't lead you to a different world. Okay, okay we, we will. will. And you ought to thank Kenny for raising the alarm. Thank Thanks, you, Kenny. Kenny. Just doing what seriously needs doing. Well, I ought to get back to Cartwrights. You can't fix this problem without a current head chef. Hey! <laughs> You're such a clever wee boy. Ah, that tickles. Fetch! Ah oh, no, that's a clever wee baby. That's a good wee boy. I cannot believe she's still trying to bloody bluggies. Still saying she can do it, but she's never done it before. Talking crap, jumping the gun. Goodness me, I'm not surprised after that fight with you and her earlier. How ridiculous of her. When is she going to shut up and listen to you bloody people? Exactly, she's so oblivious, she's so off her head. That restaurant is losing £1,400 a week. £2,800 a fortnight? I, I don't know what to say, honestly. She's off her bloody trolley. Before anything else could be done to improve this shoddy service, Sir Mario had to take the whole case to court. Hazel is at risk of losing her business and has already lost her home. She's been festering so much that she had neglected the most important thing of all, the food. And it's driven everyone, especially Doc Emmett Brown, absolutely off their heads. And stopping them from doing better has destroyed her business and reputation and Sir Mario was thinking of an idea on how to exactly get them out of this mess. And he's got Big Chris to 
to get her to listen to scent. Where has all this bloody hazy maze gone? Well, my thing, this is. <laughs> Optimist, you're a genius!